we're standing here in Jordan. Behind us is the Dead Sea, the southern part of the Dead Sea, and behind the Dead Sea is Israel and, and Palestine. This is the cradle of the Bible. The Bible happened here. Everything happened here. That's the Old Testament and the New Testament. It all happened in this area right behind us. We came to study here the different water sources and sediment sources into the Dead Sea that comes from the eastern side. And we came to see some paleoclimate records around here. This region is one of the regions that are very stressed regarding water resources. Since the 60s, the lake level of the Dead Sea is dropping, and today the lake level drop is more than one meter per year. The changing level of the Dead Sea is a factor of two variables. We have the natural uh, variables and we have the man-made variables. The natural stresses are the climatic and geologic parameters. Climate change is clear for everyone here, and we are talking about reduction in the rainfall rates. That means less flows to the Dead Sea. In addition to that, we have the geologic aspect, the changes in the geology of the tectonics of this area. The man-made variables is, uh, are the uh, water development project and the pumping of the water resources to meet the growing demand in the cities. The reason that the lake level is dropping is because the people that are living around the, the Dead Sea and in the Dead Sea watershed, every drop that is flowing in the Jordan River that is the main source of water into the Dead Sea is consumed by someone. So Israel is using a lot of the water and Jordan is using a lot of the water and everybody that lives around the Jordan River is using the water. So when its main source is not flowing into the lake, the uh, lake level is decreasing. Actually, we just finished a draft study about the climate change uh, impact on water resources and the primary results of this study showed that by the year 2050, there will be uh, 1.5 degrees more in the temperature, in the daily temperature, and we will have 12 to 15 percent less in the rainfall rates in this area, and that means recharge will be less to the groundwater and the contribution to the uh, dead sea level will be less. We realize that, you know, there's an entire climate history that's sitting at the bottom of the Dead Sea where, you know, everything that was deposited in the Dead Sea ended up. It is a year-by-year -year recorder of the climate history of the Dead Sea. And in 2010 and 11, we drilled a deep core into the Dead Sea. We pulled out almost half a kilometer. What we learned is that during the last time it was warm, that is the last interglacial, there was a massive drought. I call it a mega drought that lasted for centuries in this region. The water that we're using today that's necessary to sustain this population was not flowing. And that was due to just the natural climatic conditions. Right now, because of the, the, the greenhouse gases that we're putting into the atmosphere, we can even see now that the average temperature is getting warmer. And what happened in the past could well happen again in the future. One of the problems of the Dead Sea is that it's an area of conflict. Among researchers, there is no conflict. I hope this project will open the gates for researcher and pave the way for more peaceful research in this area because you cannot study the Dead Sea from one part.